Talk a little bit more about estrogen. You mentioned that. Yes. Um, and the more people we talk to, the more we understand that, that estrogen is becoming a problem for men and women. Yes. Why is that and, and what can we do? Well, I, I think that um, because of the introduction of what we call xenoestrogens and pesticides and chemicals and in plastic bottled water, um, we, we have so many different exposures now from, from these chemicals. Uh, furthermore, some people, when they consume, say, fatty foods, it, it, the, the fat aromatizes and it converts into more of this harmful form of estrogen. Uh, we call it estrogen dominance. We used to think that just for women, for example, to take progesterone, that that somehow would calm down the estrogen dominance. But you're really uh, confusing the issue because progesterone is, is a distinct, very important hormone within its own right for its specific uses and purposes. And to take progesterone to somehow nullify the harm or danger of, of excess forms of estrogen doesn't generally work. In fact, progesterone downstream can convert to, through a pathway to a certain form of estrogen and cause its own problems of estrogen dominance, mm -hmm. taking progesterone. So it's not that I'm opposed to taking progesterone. I'm talking about a correct use, small amounts of progesterone if the woman's deficient. Uh, in the case of men, some doctors are saying to use progesterone. I'm not quite in agreement with that for various reasons. Uh, in fact, they use progesterone for um, uh, sex offenders to suppress uh, sexual ability in, in men. And most men want to have a little bit better libido and sexual function, not less, unless they're a sex offender. I guess, you know, you got to somehow suppress them. But uh, all this being said, I mean, we look at estrogen and we've discovered that certain plant cruciferous vegetable extracts, particularly uh, dinylmethane indole 3 carbonyl that have been found uh, to be prevalent in, um, say, Napa cabbage, bok, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, uh, and it has to be in a raw form. These raw vegetables uh, will, uh, in, in a supplement form, we can get these specific extracts. Also, wasabi is wonderful for de detoxifying harmful estrogen. So we use a combination in a product I call Esterblock, uh, Esterblock Pro, and what it does is uh, the, these supplementation uh, along with these particular foods help de detoxify these harmful estrogens and actually restores a good form of estrogen called 2-hydroxyesterone. And it's that good form of estrogen that creates what's called apoptosis. It tells the cells in the body to look for any abnormal cancer cells. It enhances the immune system. It improves uh, the function of the body uh, in, in libido and, and mental function. So estrogen has its role. It, 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 it can sustain good bone density. But uh, too much of the wrong kind of estrogen causes uh, tumors, cysts, fibroids. Uh, we, we, we see um, prostate cancer, breast cancer. So uh, a lot of the cancers now we're, we're realizing are somehow uh, estrogen uh, receptive. And so we have to be very careful to, to help people to educate them to, uh, to remove out these toxic forms of estrogens, restore the good estrogen that protect, is protective against cancer, and remove the harmful form of estrogens that tend to enhance certain growths of cancer. Uh, cancer itself is a very complex disease and you have to understand the aspects of uh, starving the cancer for not giving it cholesterol because cancer can't produce its own cholesterol. You don't want to give it a lot of sugar to feed it and you also want to uh, make sure that you remove the excess estrogens out so the, the body has a fighting chance to identify these abnormal chromosomal chaos that's going on in the mm -hmm. cells.